Proactive and dynamic leadership has been the major driving force of quality governance in the city of Lagos, as offered by Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Solu. Let's now bring you latest news report of activities and engagements of Mr. Governor from the Governor's Office. <laughs> That was a chorus song in Yoruba by Governor Babajide Sonwulu and his teaming APC supporters calling for divine help and support for victory in the upcoming governorship election in Lagos State held in Lagos recently. Mr. Governor will use the occasion to thank party faithfuls and Lagosians for their commitment, solidarity and support for his government, reeled out major achievements of his government, promising to sustain good governance in Lagos. Today is a day that the Lord has made and we're indeed happy and excited that God has given us even the brightness of today. He has given us a good weather and I want to thank all of you for coming out in large number. Just a week ago at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Surulere, we witnessed the presidential campaign council where a larger crowd ushering our presidential candidate Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu and his vice presidential candidate, Senator Kashim Shetima. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank all of our supporters, all of our friends, all of our well-wishers for gracing that occasion. You have come out again today, a week afterwards, to come and show again your love, your commitment, your solidarity with our party with all of our candidates, I want to thank you for coming out in large number and for showing solidarity, for showing love, support. A greater Lagos is rising. A greater Lagos rising. A greater Lagos is rising. Why is it rising? Lagos is rising, given all of our modest achievements on our team's agenda. Is it on transportation? and traffic management, you can see the completion of our rail projects. We have seen our commitment on all of our BRT corridors. First line buses, BRT buses, last mile buses. You have seen new taxis. You have seen ferries on our road. You have seen the development of ferry terminals in 17 locations in Lagos. You have seen that we have resolved the Apapa gridlock. You have seen a new energized LASMA that is working tirelessly. You have seen the construction and the completion of the Lekki Deep Sea Port. We have seen the regional road that we're doing. We have seen the road going to Ekpe. You have seen the road in Ikorodu. You have seen the one in Ekpe. You have seen the one in Victoria Island. You have seen everywhere, every part of the state. You have seen roads being constructed, new roads being bridged, existing one being managed to better serve you. What we're about is about purposeful governance on health and environment. We have seen the construction and handover of brand new hospitals in Badagri. You have seen new hospital in Ekpe. You have seen new hospital in Etiosa. You have seen the construction of a new one in Ojo. You have seen the construction of a new one in Ikorodu. Every part of the city you have seen health being added over to you, our citizens. We have seen the clearing of our drains, the building of new drainage channels. As we speak, over 210 various drainage challenges are being constructed. We have seen the widening of the existing one. We have seen that for the first time, flood is not carrying us in Lagos. We are not envying those other parts of the country. We have sympathized with them. But we're happy that for the first time, we do not have the incident that we used to have several, several years ago. It's because of our commitment as a government. And that's the picture from the governor's office segment on the City of Lagos TV show. When we return, we'll talk more 
about your great city, Lagos, on the show. We'll be right back.